y'all see it, man. Back in business. You feel me? Put them new joints on, man. 295 30ZR26. Back in business. Had to do it. Had to be done. It's only right. You feel me? It's only it's only right. Let me see what we got. Hold on. 295 3026. You feel me? Same size. We in action. We in action. Had to do it. Had to get them bad ones off of there, man. They was talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where you put the lock? He gave me the lock. Okay. Let him up. Let me make sure I got that joint. All right. Got it. All right, man. Okay. Woo. All right. Got that done. Got my lock back on here. Couldn't do nothing if I couldn't drive, man. So I got my wheels back together. It's on now. It's back on. You feel me? So what I'm finna do is uh, hit this block. But y'all know we back down here at Shelton Tires. Y'all know I didn't really want to come back because of uh, bad business before. I gave him another shot. He made it right, man. So just paid for them tires. I felt I did pay a little bit much, though. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. Did pay a little bit much. Um... Uh, I don't know what he put something on there about a warranty, but you know what I'm saying? Y'all see it though, man. Just cashed out. 458. 460, man, for two tires. When really truth be told, I probably could have saved a few bucks. I paid more than that to lead the tires and all that too, man. But I had to get the I had to get it done and nobody else had them in stock, so I don't know. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Gotta get it done though. Too, though. Boom. We out here. It feel good to be back out here rolling, man. For real. We is out here handling this business. This is going on. Who up here at me time this morning? Anybody up here at me time? Like the gates open? Who up here? Pull up. Just don't want to go home, huh? Yeah, so I ain't here getting to this money the right way. Man, I love having these tires on, though. Man, I feel so good about it. it probably ain't the best brand, Rain Cook GT, but uh, he doing a good thing having them in stock. I ain't gonna lie because the two front tires that I got actually came from him too. Um, and I've been still rolling though, so. He got me together though, and I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm really am happy about it. I didn't want to spend the money though. I just want to make sure these tires are going the right direction though, because this tire look like it's going this way. Or is it going this way? Are these directional tires? One thing is something else, man. I make sure these tires is not directional. See, these going that way. And these going this way. like these are directional but would it say it on the front face of the wheel or what I need y'all help on this one man tread wear hmm. would it say it on the sticker if it's directional
Y'all see it though, man. Look at the bottom right here. I'm trying to see. You see the inside of the wheel has got the thick line. Right here. And on the inside over here, it's got the thick line. So I think that's right. Um, Cause if you flip it, it'd be on the other side and I don't think that'd be correct. So maybe they are on correct. I just wanna make sure I'm getting all the grip I'm supposed to be getting. I'm gonna just pull up, man. We ain't went too far. We really just still like right across the street from there. So I'm gonna pull up and make sure that the tires aren't directional. You don't let too much time pass. Cause if you do, um, you never know, man. You feel me? They might not remember you. I mean, I got the receipt, but make sure everything, everything, man. Plus it's early and ain't nobody else up there. So maybe when I pull up, I can get right back in if it, things do need to be changed around. I will say that I ain't been having the greatest day, but I'm staying in positive spirits at all times, man. You feel me? Man, I feel good about getting my tires changed, man, because I was one moment away from a blowout. So, I don't know. Oh yeah, it feels so much better being it. I can feel the difference though. I got a lot of grip. The, the torque, the pull, all that is on point. So, I'm gonna pull up real quick and just ask them if they directional or not. I said, I don't want to think I got a problem or issue every time I pull up. I don't want people to think I'm doing bad business all the time. But uh, I just want to ask real quick. They got a clean MC up in there too. Let's see what's up. Okay, y'all the one that i just looked at that was on the inside the tires are labeled inside outside so they're not they're not directional um but they are inside outside so everything good everything straight it's looking the way it's supposed to right on time they got somebody else pulling in so i pulled in right on time too yeah small things i need to deal with like for instance like my steering wheel got a little play in it they said this is like typical with these trucks at certain times but i do need to get that checked i might find somebody to look at that maybe today man but i feel like i got a little play in there i get that tightened up i feel like i should be able to drive this thing anywhere man and i do got one box that i seen um my pieces broke on but the piece uh let me show it to y'all i'm actually gonna pull up over here somewhere and uh, show y'all what I'm talking about that I noticed was broke. I put some tape on there so I can remember where it's at whenever I pop my hood, but um, I gotta find out. Cause I, I, I do smell gas and I know it, it messes with my fuel efficiency. I know I'm on the gas, I'm, at, I'm always to the gas station almost every time on the channel. So I feel like my gas is not burning efficiently, man. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm about to figure it out right now too. Yeah, man. Yeah, see, I got this Dallas on too, man. So um, we down here in Texas, though. You feel me? We are gonna see if we can bring one down here to the uh, to the state. See if they gonna get him one. You feel me? Y'all remember Dirk did it though. You got Luca and Kyrie fighting for it now. You got P.J. Washington. You got uh, what's the other guy name? Um, you got Lively, Derek Lively down there. You got uh, Gafford down there. You feel me? You got some people balling who was on different teams. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't expect this out of them, but they most definitely playing their role. And uh, that's important in life, playing your role. You know what I'm saying? You play your role, you get what you're trying to get up out of life, man. You feel me? Especially when you got somebody helping you get there. So 
Teamwork make the dream work. Y'all know what it is, man. So tap in with somebody or tap in with the people that's got the same or similar goals and interests that you got and uh, make it work. You feel me? Once you do that, I feel like you're going to be unstoppable. You know what I'm talking about? You always say two heads better than one. Just imagine having a team full of people that's all focused on the same goals and uh, putting in the same amount of effort, if not more, than, than possible. You know what I'm saying? To, 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 to achieve that goal, though, it's crazy, though. So um, if you can make that happen, you want to win a team, hey, man, congratulations to you. You feel me? Because that's what everybody out here fighting for or should be. If you want success, you know, I'm out here um, in the 4-1 in Killeen, so I see a lot of poverty. I see a lot of people who... Uh, who lost their way a long way, you feel me? Like, they, they, they lost their focus, and uh, I don't know, maybe I can help them get it back. When I see them, I got motivation to look courage uh, for everybody, man, if I can give it to them. Not to say that I'm in the best position in life, but I'm in a position to uh, where this is clear, you know what I'm saying? If you got, you go ahead and pay attention to that, though, but you feel me? Can't, miss, can't hit no potholes on my new tires. <laughs> we ducking them for sure. If I got to be on the back street all the time, though, but, um, we pull it up right here by the park where I normally be at, man. I'm about to actually uh, shoot a few jump shots real quick. It's only right that I, uh, this is what I do to get my mind right. So I'm about to pull up right here to the park. It look like the city over there cleaning it up right now, but uh, it ain't gonna take me long. You know what I'm saying? Hit me about 20 free throws, about six jumpers. You know what I'm saying? And that's gonna be it. But man, just being able to drive and ride without my tires being crazy is good though. I also have a uh, exhaust leak that I don't like in my truck either, so I want to make sure that I uh, get that adjusted. Someone told me where to go too, so I'm gonna go there probably when I leave here. And basketball back here. Mm-hmm. Turning them corners, man. Got them stickers turning. Y'all see what it is, man. Beautiful. Beauty. Oh, man. It feels good to get that done, though, man. And, and I really feel like I've been procrastinating, man. Because if you know me and I rep Go Hard Gang, you know what I'm saying? I got to be the face of this. I can't be out here playing. I got to be going hard, though. So, hey, man. You know, you run through tires, man. That's part of life, though. But that's what it is. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, they getting to it, man. I ain't trying to do much. Put a few in the hole real quick. It's a little bit windy. It is a little windy out here, but hey man, no excuses. We getting it done. No excuses. One thing about recording YouTube videos and being on social media, you really can't hide none of your movements, you feel me? Everything you do is like on the forefront, you know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure you're doing the right things at all times. And if you're not, you know what I'm saying? You see where you're weak at, go and tighten it up. All right, y'all, that's going to do it, man. You feel me? The city gone. It's time for us to go to, yo. Head back. And uh, I think I'm about to see if I can find out what's going on with my exhaust real quick. I know I do got an exhaust leak, so let's see if we can find about that. All right, we headed towards downtown Killeen. Um, Y'all know we've been to uh, Bill's Mufflers before in Copper's Cove, but we didn't have the greatest experience um, with my other truck when I was trying to get my AC working, so um, I've been skeptical about going back to that particular place, but I do know That there's a Bill's mufflers here and I have heard people tell me to go there for muffler work And I didn't go for muffler work before so um, I'm about to go to Bill's mufflers now or at least try to if I can remember where it's at and uh, see if I can find The building and see what they can do about my exhaust leak because it do smell like gas a lot around here. And I know it's got to do with that part I said I'm gonna show y'all under my hood in a second, but um, I'm trying to alleviate those things. I gotta get my truck back in tip top shape, man. So that's what I'm about to do. So um, I think Bill's Mufflers is somewhere around here. We gonna find it though. Bill's Mufflers. 
remember riding by here and uh, running into one of the subscribers in this area of town. And I think he was at Bill's Mufflers or coming from or going to, but he actually referred me saying if I'm gonna do business to do it with that, this particular shop. So if I can find it, I'm gonna do just that. Gotta be probably to the right because I'm steady turning and I ain't found it yet. Okay, that's Henderson's right there. That's the restaurant we've been eating a little bit. You feel me? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Okay, we got tires to you. That's where everybody said they've been going for alignments. I probably could go here and see what they can do as far as my steering because it is a little loose. Let me check it out and see what they say. I hate going to places I don't know nothing about though because I feel like mm, people get down on you if they can. Uh, let's see. All right, y'all, so I just talked to him. He said that he'll be able to uh, check my truck out in a second and help me assess what's going on. They said they do do alignments here, but um, not today they're not doing alignments. So I don't know if it's the machine down or the person that do them is not here, but uh, in a few seconds, he said he'll help me assess what's going on with my steering. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna wait it out for a second. He's doing something in the back of this car. While I'm waiting, I might as well show y'all the piece that's uh, broken under my hood. This piece right here. So, see I put this tape here, but this box, I didn't realize this was all one piece, but this hose right here is broken off of here. And when I noticed it, it already had glue, like residue around it. So either it was broke before I got the truck and I didn't know, or it's been broke since I got the truck. Probably having somebody else work on it or fix something. And they broke it and tried to fix it and didn't tell me. Um, but now that I noticed it's broke and my truck is not running efficiently, I got a little shake to it. I'm assuming it's because of this. Somebody told me that this right here has a lot to do with my uh, fuel efficiency, man. So. Um, I know I got a uh, exhaust leak on the car and I got this that need to be taken care of. So um, I forgot the name of this part. I looked it up. It's roughly about, it's under 250 on Rock Auto for sure. Um, I haven't looked anywhere else for it particularly, but uh, I had somebody else look it up and they sent me the link. And it was about like roughly around $200 though for the part. But it's all one piece though. All this is connected and I didn't realize that. So um they probably got one at the junkyard i don't know how much but i don't know if this is a part i probably just need to get new so uh we got to deal with that for sure but while i'm here i'm gonna see what they tell me about my steering and then i can move on to my um exhaust move on to my exhaust they might even recommend somebody for me to go to for the exhaust but we're gonna find out in a minute know that I just put these tires on here and I probably should have put these new tires in the front but I know when I do get it aligned it probably make more sense to have the new tires in the front they probably could be on there right now honestly but uh I want to deal with the steering first before I put them in there because they're gonna have more more tear on them but I do know that more traction is coming from the back um, hopefully they don't take too long and get it done like in a short period of time and if I do then um, it really shouldn't make a difference because the tires are new. They'll still be new when I move them to the front. So there won't be a bunch of miles on them. But I don't want to have them on there on the front and it's something loose and then they get to like moving around too much and start getting heating up. Because I was looking at these and it's starting to smooth out on the inside a little bit. You know what I mean? So I don't want that. Let me 
Not a whole lot, but some. I want to tighten that up for sure. And we're going to be able to go further faster in this truck, man. That's the goal. Man, I don't know how long he thought I was going to be up here waiting, but it's been about every bit of 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So I'm going to see how much work he got to do, and I might just have to come back. See if they still doing that thing with that car. Or maybe he ain't see me because the car not here no more. Here. What's going on, boss man? I've been waiting the whole time. <laughs> I sent you when you was out here. I was like, man. Uh, on the highway? Is it? Yeah, it's a, a white truck. Oh, yeah. Where, where did you get this from? I actually won it from a YouTuber, man. Scan it on the side. I'm gonna take you to my YouTube channel. My very first video is me taking delivery of it. And when I won the truck, it actually had 30 inch Monty Forge on it. In a raffle? In a raffle. Yep. I don't know if you heard of Mr. 75 Caprice, but that's who I won it from. What? No fucking way. Yeah. I started my own YouTube channel when I got it. Yo, but it had 30 inch Monty Forge on it, but like I said, it was like some loose in the wheel. Yeah. And he said he had an issue with it too when he got it, but I took those wheels off and put these wheels on and it's not so much, but it is loose. Like even right now, it still got some play in the wheel. So somebody told me it might be like a gearbox or something I could tighten up, but uh, yeah, it is. I'd be to show you, actually. it's yeah, open, go ahead. Yeah, it's probably the cleanest in there, but yeah, yep. Okay. You need the key? Uh, No, sir, I wanted to open up the hood. Yeah, pull that string, yeah. just pull that cord right there. Good. Yeah, got some keys too. Yep, the starter on the way too. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, there's a lot of there's it's a, a whole lot in it. And, uh, there's a lot of dead play. Yep. When I had the 30s on there, it was wet, man, crazy, crazy. I take them off. But I just learned how to drive it like this, but I want to get it fixed now. Yeah. I done had it like over two years now. I just really? got, yeah, so I, I got this, I just broke, so I, oh, I ain't break it, but I noticed it's broke, so I got to get this. Is that the, like an air canister? Yep. And then I got an exhaust leak too. I've been smelling gas, so I want to tighten that up. I just left the tire shop, put two new tires on the back right before I pulled up here. Nice. Okay. Time to just figure it out. It's right here. It connects to your gearbox that's right down there. Sometimes there's a joint, kind of like a U joint or something that connects like that. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen people tighten up some joints, some bolts on that, kind of fix that play in there. Or in this shifter column right here. There is uh, supposedly also some screws in here that you can tighten up. Mm -hmm. So it could be a couple of things. Um, you actually have all the gaskets still on your uh, that steering uh, that shaft uh -huh. right there. So I wouldn't be able to see if that joint like has a play in it before it starts flipping the other joint. Okay. Right. Um, Gearbox is honestly the most expensive thing on the list when it comes to like fixing this thing. So uh, I would start just thinking around, maybe like changing, we're looking inside of this column right here, taking this off as softly as you can to preserve those clips, mm -hmm. and seeing if those screws in there need to be tightened. And they're not like a tighten like you crank them now, but like small. Half adjustment. a turn or something. Small adjustment, and it should be able to fix some of the play in the steering wheel. Um, the next one is the steering linkage that's going all the way down to the gearbox. Uh -huh. and the last one on the list I would say is the gearbox. But if you go, you know, new gearbox right off the bat, I would say like an AC Delco one is really good, especially for VM. Um, or, I mean like an aftermarket one. Aftermarket ones I see nowadays that last for a really long time. A lot of people are putting them on like the half 1500s uh -huh. and 2500s to get that play out. But yeah. That's Do you see that a lot up here? 
Where can you? I, I've seen it a lot with my truck. Oh, okay. You know, I've had 2,500 to 1,500 before. Um, but this is very common for us. Okay. Older GM is going to have something like that going on. Either that playing steering wheel, or the ignition's weird, got the yeah. Chevy shake, or, <laughs> you know, or ground issues, yeah. stuff like that. I know it's really common with GM. I got a 95 uh, SS at the crib too, uh, Impala, and it, it got a little play in the wheel too though. Yeah, I looked it up and in the forum they said that's common for the car. It's, it's common for the trucks too. Yeah. Like, even more common for the trucks. Yeah. I mean, you got something that's extremely well put together, I would say. Yeah. You know, who do you get to work on your car? Um, I really haven't had much work done to it since I owned it. Um, but I have took it to nobody particularly really. Look, 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 look here and there, somebody to can fix it. You know what I'm saying? Not nothing too big. Recommendation for you know, somebody. This is my truck right here. I okay. get all my stuff done at um, Church of the Rock. That's here in Colleen? Yes, sir. Where's that? Liberty Street. If you go down Ranch here, and you know how uh, WS Young is perpendicular in yep. here, Texas, right after that is going to be Liberty Street. And then they're the guys that I would trust. Chucks. Definitely for sure. And they'll bring it back over here for a while. Okay. So. Yeah, alignment. And then sometimes it's just hard to get the alignment right whenever it has a lot of play like that. Sometimes we got shit, shit out of there. You know, get it straight, make sure it's higher and straight. Or make sure that dead spot, that center spot is right there and it's got even play on both sides. That's a hard thing to do as well. Because sometimes your steering wheel can be like a little cock out to the right, a little cock out to the left, but your tires it's yeah. really straight. So on the alignment machine, you'd say, Everything's zero, like your toe is zeroed in, your camera's good and everything like that, and your catcher's like matching. But dead spot, uneven, uneven amounts of it's almost like you ever play a game. And yeah, like, you got the your configuration. controller, yeah. your controller has like that dead space in it before your character starts moving. Yeah. So like you would want it even on both sides, especially like with your steering wheel. Yeah. Um Unfortunately, it's not a settings that we can go and change just like right off the bat. It's got to be something mechanical in between that steering wheel all the way down to the gearbox or that gearbox. Okay. So I would say everything before that is very inexpensive. When it comes to the gearbox, I feel like that's going to be like the most expensive thing. Very like, I seen like 275 for gearbox, and then you got to replace it. Yeah. And then you got either, I can't remember if it's the Isler or the Pitman arm underneath. Have you ever changed anything suspension-wise on this truck? Nope. Okay. Would you ever change anything suspension-wise? Um, the longer I'm here in Texas, I'm starting to feel like it. I mean, only because, you know, when I got it, it had a different look. It had 30-inch rims on it, and then yeah. I ended up putting these on. Yeah. Uh, but I kind of got used to them being on. But, I mean, in Texas, everybody got their trucks jacked up with the, the, the big rough country lifts and stuff like that, though. So, I mean, I w I w I'm not against putting that something like that on here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, would you be willing to, like, buy the suspension kit? You know, like, I would say, honestly... If you're going ahead and trying to fix the steering, man, I would let them check for like, you know, ball joints, or like worn or weathered, upper control arms, some of your bushings under there, your inner outer tie rods and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and let them do it all one time. Get it all done. Or you know what? I got two places for you. Okay. So y'all hear it, y'all. Y'all hearing it. It was worth the wait. We most definitely getting some knowledge that we didn't have before. Um, and he gave us some recommendations on where we can go. So, let's uh, turn the truck off for now. And then I'm going to talk to him about my exhaust and figure out where I need to go to get that leak uh, taken care of. He said it sounded like my starter was going to go because it don't. Like, I remember when I turned my key, like he's talking about that Chevy shake and stuff like that. But I got a new starter on here that hasn't been on here that long. Yeah, but, um, you know, when you put the key in there and start it, it's like, <clears throat> take it a cough it. <clears throat> Then it's a gap. It won't say nothing in it. <clears throat> and then it'll start. So I always thought it was normal, but that's how it's been. I'm back. Perfect. Who did the suspension on here? So Lift Kings actually did my suspension, my lift kit on here. So uh, uh, right here on uh, the Fourth Street. They got they have oh. one on veterans. Okay, that's the one I one, seen. I think that one closed down. Oh, it's closed already? Yeah, he wanted to just consolidate it to one store. Okay. I think, really. There was no particular reason why he closed that one down. Okay. And then... They reasonably priced up there? I think so, yes. And then they also allow you to bring your own parts up there. So, like, if you go on, like, Amazon or eBay. Like, mm -hmm. I got my whole front end from Amazon. 
Burwell from eBay. Okay. And I made sure, like, it was VIN specific, like, year making model, all the way down to the trim. Very specific for my. Was it one kit or you had to buy multiple it was, parts? It was one kit. Okay. It was one kit, but the, the lift kit was different. Okay. I got two more questions I want to ask you too before yes, I leave from up here. Yes, um, one of them being, I just put new tires in the back. Yes, sir. When I deal with the suspension in the front, as far as lime and all that, would it, would it be better to have the front, the new tires in the front, or would it not make a difference? I don't think it would make too much of a difference, um, depending on how soon you're going to get all that stuff done. Mm -hmm. um, your back tires, do you have more tread? Than, well, it looks like they have the same amount of tread. Yeah, those tires I replaced not that long ago. But I do have so much play on my wheel that I know it's been like probably affecting the tire a little bit. It will eventually affect the tire. Um, these side bendings right here, a way you could tell if it's going to affect it is if like you start seeing these wear down a yeah. lot faster than the ones on the inside. Mm -hmm. You know, you have some type of toe problem or maybe. Um, well, there's really, there's, you really wouldn't be able to tell until it starts really affecting the tire. Mm -hmm. You either notice like, maybe like some skipping and like this tread, it's gonna feel kind of like, I wish I had a tire here to show you. I just had it going on in the back, that's why I took them off. So really? I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, have you ever got your shocks replaced in the back? Done nothing pretty much for the truck. Usually the only thing that I could think of that would make you have uneven or irregular wear in the rear is, is shocks. So okay. Like worn shocks or like blown shocks. Or I think what happened was I replaced uh, those tires and I might've moved them around though. Okay. Yeah. I think those should be good in the front. Um, if you start to notice any type of regular wear, I think a rotation would suffice and just evening it out for each tire. Yeah. So, like, I recommend that, like, every three to 4,000 miles. Sound like a win. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, here's the other place right here. So, these guys are really good. These guys know a lot about suspension, too. His okay. name is Bryant. Tell them that he is. Okay, bet. I'm going to write my name on this card right here. You got a spot you can recommend me for this exhaust leak I got? I think I got like a hole in the pipe on the bottom or maybe I a do. donut or something. Yes, sir. So Bill's muffler. Yeah. His name is Jacob. He's got a carbon fiber leg. He's a cool dude. He there now? Go. Yeah, he's there right now. Um, he's down off of Veterans Memorial. If he's busied up, um, the only other place that I would recommend is A1, but I like Jacob's muffler. Okay. You know, I like that guy a lot. And don't they can get me right in or? I think he makes accommodations for people that ask for it. Okay. You know, so Better I on. think that he would get you right in and out. All right. Highly appreciate that. I'm probably going to. KG. Yeah, nice What's up, bro? Yep. Yes, sir. Subscribe to my channel, man. Lock in with me. I should. I actually got Am two. I on the blog? Am I on the, yeah, I'm you on it right now? Do your thing. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. I actually got two channels. So that's my second channel, uh, which is small. It's only got like 250 subscribers, but I still post on both. Nice. But the one I won the truck on is on this side. Yeah, and you actually see the tires. I just, um, I think yesterday's video, the one, it was real bad. Yep. Where'd you get them from? Uh, I actually just went to Shelton. He's the only person I seen that. I went to four different shops and nobody had the tire size in stock. Really? Yeah. Twenty six. Yep. Two ninety five. Two ninety five. Everybody wanted me to make, go to three hundred five. I ain't want to go three hundred five. I could probably got two ninety five. You got it here now. I needed it in stock. I mean, I could have really waited and probably ordered off Amazon and all that, but nobody had it in stock, and I just had to keep going. Let me check. All right. Yeah, I really wasn't brand specific or anything. My tires were just bad and I really couldn't even drive it. Like it just, it needed to be addressed like early. I got you. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Some of this stuff, the same day or next day. Even the two tires that's in the front, when I did those the first time, uh, I got them from Shelton too. Same thing. Nobody had it in stock, and they wanted me to go 305. Check this out. 30 minutes ago, I could have got that tire here by like 2 o'clock. So I get it. Okay. Yes, sir. We know now for sure. You got 305 in stock, though? 
I have the 305, but I have that 295. Yeah. The one that you're looking for. So uh -huh. I have both. 305, yeah. 3026 as well. Yes, sir. I've got this. Okay. I'm going to he hit me in the head only because he knew well well i paid well kind of i looked online and seen the tire for like 130 so uh the chops i told that that's who they told me that uh plus shipping but it wasn't no shipping with the amazon price but i know i would have to go somewhere to get it put on everybody price as far as putting it on changed so how much you charge for a tire 200 200 per tire? yeah 200 i would have catch a deal i would have had it like one if you wanted a deal i would have made it one I always want to deal, but that's what I would. I just paid two, and then whatever the extra shit was on top of that, so it wasn't even. But I could. I went to another stop that had three hundred fives. He wanted two, but that was everything included per tire. Which shop? Which shop? from? I got them from Shelton. Yep, I got them from Shelton. Um, I went to one stop tire shop. They didn't have them. He claimed he had some in Tuesday. Uh, I went to uh, right next to there, uh, Big Zach's. He didn't have them. Um. I went to a spot in coal out there for Rabbit Fest. Uh, I think that might have been a uh, one-stop tire shop too, though. They didn't have them. <laughs> for sure. I'll make myself your tire guy. So if you need some tires, call me first. If I can't get them, I can literally order them like next day. But it usually doesn't matter the price. I don't make pricing issues. So whether you want a deal, I'd rather you buy from me. In fact, I think I got my receipt in my pocket, though, man. If ends up being wrong with the tire, I can send it back. You wouldn't have to deal with Amazon, like Freight, or anything like mm -hmm. that. I'd rather get it from us. We can include the mounting and balancing in it. I can offer warranty for it. You just don't have to go through a whole bunch of more hoops mm -hmm. if something else were to go wrong. So. That was another thing with that, too, though. Um, ordering tires. I had two, heard two stories about people getting the wrong tire sent to them. And then... Uh, the order was right, everything, but they sent them the wrong tire. So there was a waiting process with that. And then when the tire came, they had to deal with the sit shipping it back and all of that. So I was just like, and all that, and that's why I wanted in stock and nobody had it. Mm -hmm. I ain't want to go through it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Next time, bro. I appreciate you. For sure. I'm about to go down here and check out. Uh, yeah, I'm going down there now to check this exhaust out. Tell me after the All right, bro. Bet him up. All right, bro. Yep. All right, y'all heard it, man. Y'all know what it is. He did his thing for me. Um... Hope mom synced it. He said, hey. Yay. We out here, man. Right across the street from the new boys and girls club, man. Clean, Texas. So, um, probably gonna end this video because I feel like I got a lot going on in here. You know what I'm saying? But we did accomplish getting tires on our uh, truck. And now we're gonna deal with the next issues, man. So, uh, y'all make sure that y'all tap in. Up to the channel, man. You gotta subscribe or you're gonna miss something. I want you to subscribe. I want you to like the videos. I want you to share the content. We all in this thing together, though, man. You feel me? I was looking at his exhaust. He said he got it all off eBay and Amazon. The lift kit itself, he said, see rough country. Y'all see that RC? But yeah, he said that it came from uh, online, but he took it to Lift Kings and they did the work. So, yeah. But in a minute. All right, y'all. We're going to finish this on a positive note and make sure that uh, we're doing all we're supposed to be doing. Also want to say this too, y'all. Make sure y'all taking care of y'all self out there, man. Um, I just recently went to the doctor, make sure I was everything, but everything came back on me good. But um, they did tell me I had low vitamin D. Um, and they said like the good source of that is uh like salmon. I was actually told to go start taking daily vitamins. You know what I'm saying? Um, vitamin D. And they said I think she said units. She said 100 units per day. So I don't know if that's high or low, but she said I most definitely was low on vitamin D. Um, y'all know I be moving all the time, so I probably ain't been taking the best care of myself, man. But that stops today, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I'm about to end this video, um, and about to go pick up my vitamins, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I'm in high spirits, though, you feel me, and in good health, though. So, health is wealth, man. Make sure you're good out there, make sure your loved ones taken care of, and man, hopefully, when it's all said and done, when you need somebody, they take care of you, though. But uh, I'm out, peace.